Gospel of July the 7th, 2017, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and, and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're just going to dwell in this beautiful, beautiful gospel. Immediately it came to me the saying, the words in the of the Pope, of the Pope Francis. The, that words, those words are miserando et eligendo, which in Latin means he had mercy, so he elected him. Today's homily I would entitle God can transform any person. There are like three times, three moments of the gospel that I would like to preach about today. The first one is the election. Back then, the Pharisees and the scribes wanted apparently to serve God. The Pharisees even called themselves set apart. They wanted not to be among sinners. They wanted to live differently, to be close to God. So they set apart themselves from the sinners. But in that they also set apart from God. Nevertheless, that was the culture back then. So the Lord Jesus on that culture should not have chosen Matthew. He was a public sinner, a Jew who was working for the Roman Empire, who oppressed his Jewish brother by taxes, by collecting taxes. But nevertheless the Lord saw him, and he in his mercy loved him. And then he just said, follow me. Matthew is absolutely free by himself to answer yes or no. And all that Matthew answers, or rather writes here, is he got up and followed him. Getting up in the gospel and in the sacred scriptures usually mean going out of your sins. It is not that the Lord will just bring to himself a sinner and let him remain being a sinner. He called him because he knew that he could transform him. That's why he called him. So we see this great mercy. A mercy in which you and I, particularly I, who am a sinner, perfectly fit. He loves you and me. Then the next moment is this. Matthew, full of joy, prepares a banquet for his new master, for his teacher. And in that banquet, he invites his friends. And who are his friends? The Pharisees, by no means, the scribes, by no means, but other tax collectors and sinners, the ones that would not uh, reject him dreadfully because he was a public sinner. In that, the Lord achieved what he wanted. He wanted to be among the sinners. And Matthew brought to him a bunch of them. I can only imagine, perhaps, the attitude of Judas the Iscariot or one of the other apostles, the Zealot, who wanted to be close to God and clean. I could only imagine also a rejection as the Pharisees. Why does your teacher eat with sinners and tax collectors? 
they are rejecting him. That is the second moment, which is very sad. They are blind to the love of God. The third moment is resolved by God himself. I did not come to call the righteous but the sinners. I can only imagine those Pharisees and scribes thinking, well, I don't care, I don't want to go with you because you want to go with the sinners, I want to go with God. But the Lord tells them, go and learn the meaning of sacred scripture. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. It's easy for us to try to buy the forgiveness of God, thinking that he is like a judge that can be bought. Okay, I want to become rich, so I'm going to um, do a few bad things. Uh, I will be robbing and stealing and whatever, but then I'll just get a little bit of that money and then I offer it as an offering to God now and everything will be fine. That's not the way God wants us. That's not the way at all. I'm going to be killing such and such and get some money and some of the money I will share with God so that He will forgive me. That is not the way. That is absolutely not the way. Because as I said, God will take us sinners, but He wants to transform us in His friends. He wants us to raise up from our sins. And the Lord says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. So your sacrifice without mercy, without transformation, is useless. You want to, give for, to be forgiven? Start by forgiving everyone. Start by not judging others. But then let the Holy Spirit transform you by means of hearing the Word, the Word of the Lord, of Christ, by abiding by His commandments, by letting God mold you into His friend. Today I rejoice greatly because I know that as a sinner the Lord came for me that he knew what kind of person I am and nonetheless he called me to serve him. In the end we see Matthew being transformed from a public sinner to an apostle who witnessed the risen Lord up to his death for the sake of the sheep of the world. May God grant us all, especially all of us consecrated by the imposition of the hands as ministers, to love Him and His children more than an or, or life, more than an or life, our own life. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.